Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my current favorites of 2020 so far over the last three months. So if you wanna see what those products are, then just keep watching. So I don't really have a favorite for like prep stuff, like primer or anything. So I'm just gonna go through what I use on the daily. So I've I've already put this stuff on, but the e.l.f. High daily Hydration Moisturizer is what I use daily. And I've also been using the Caprice, Caprice Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum before as well. I'm just so dry lately. Like, I've finally been taking skincare serious, but because of that, I'm now, like, breaking out everywhere because my skin is not used to me doing anything with it. I know every time I start using skincare, I break out first and then I never let it get better. So I'm trying to still continue. So because of that, I've been extremely, extremely dry and also just the air in general right now. I bought a facial steamer, so hopefully that'll start helping, but those are what I've been using. Um, but because I'm so dry, I'm also gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil because I just, especially around my nose, I need oh, so much hydration. Let's move on to foundation so right now my favorite foundation that I've been obsessed with is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation it's not gonna look that good because of how dry my nose is right now but it should look still fine in the rest of the places so we're still gonna use this I'm gonna try this out this is not a favorite or anything I bought this and I just recently got it so it's the June Co yeah Juno and Co makeup sponge it came with a pack of four Hold on. It came with a pack of four. There's the Fusion Sponge and the Velvet Sponge. This apparently is the Fusion Sponge. But it looks exactly like the Velvet Sponge. It's just different shape of what the cutout is. I don't know if there's a difference. <laughs> um, so we're going to try that out today. I'm just going to pump this on the back of my hand. This is in shade 1 Neutral if you're curious. And I'm just going to paint it on. I am so red from moving around so much. So this foundation is full coverage, so you definitely don't have to put this on much on, but I just, I love full coverage. So for me, this is like, this is what I want. This feels really weird. I'm so used to like it being soaked, not soaked, but like damp feeling. And this doesn't really feel that damp, but trust me, I got it really, really wet. I don't know why people are obsessed with this. I feel like it didn't do much different than my normal sponge, but maybe that's just me. For concealer, I don't really necessarily have a favorite. I have one that I've been using a lot um, because it's probably the favorite out of what I have. It's the Hourglass Vanish. What is it even called? Um, I don't know. It doesn't have anything else on this, but I know it's the Vanish something. I'm not gonna use it though because I do want to film another video because even though we're in a crisis, I still have to work from home. So I still don't really have time to actually sit down and film. So I am filming a second video where I'm testing out the Kosas. I don't know if I said that right, concealer. So I'm gonna really quickly go do that and then I'll come back and we'll finish the rest of my face. Okay, now that my concealer is done, let's move on to bronzer. I almost did powder. So I have been really into three bronzers lately, one cream and two powders. So for cream, I really need to stop putting this back in the box, is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer for cream. And then for powdered bronzer is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer. I've had this for so long, but I'm finally hitting pan. And then the Hourglass which one is the bronze? Eternal Bronze Light is the actual one if you don't buy this whole palette. So I've been really obsessed with those, which sucks because they are all on the expensive side. For less expensive bronzers that I really like, that I just haven't been using because I like these so much, is the Maybelline City Bronzer in 100. Like, I like it so much I freaking ended up breaking the package using it so much. So if you don't want to spend the money on these, this is also a very very good bronzer okay so we're gonna use the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel and this is what it looks like 
Oh, you are a prickly brush. There we go, just turned it. So I've been really obsessed with using cream bronzers and then also powder on top of it. I know, it's a lot. You don't have to. You know, I see all these things about how, you know, makeup or beauty influencers, or gurus, whatever you want to call them, on social media, people are like, they always just wear so much, it's not realistic, blah, 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 blah. But this is realistic. This is what I wear daily. Like, it's a lot. I get it. And it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is what I do. So, if you don't like that kind of makeup, you know, follow somebody who has the same taste of, as you do in makeup. That makes more sense. Okay. <clears throat> Let's set my face lightly. Um, in the video I'm doing for the concealer, I'm testing to not set in set one. So this eye is not going to be set, just so you have a heads up. <laughs> so the powder that I've been using lately that I actually really like is from Ciate. It's the Everyday Vacation Coconut Setting Powder. So that is what I'm going to use for today. And I just put a light amount because I don't really need to powder too much. Okay, now that we have a light set, let's move on to blush and I'm kind of obsessed with two brush, two blushes right now. They are the NARS Original and Orgasm. It's just really pretty color. I have a little baby one. And then the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. And I just really like these colors. I'm very much into corals when it comes to blush. So I think today I'm just gonna use NARS Orgasm. So I'm going to use NARS Orgasm. And I don't put too much. I don't really like blush that much. And I put way too much on the other side per usual. Okay, so for powder to clean up when I do mess up, I do one or two. I have the ColourPop No Filter Press Sheer Powder that I use constantly. But ever since I got this, I kind of stopped using that. So it's the Hourglass Finishing Powder in Diffused Light. So it is the yellow shade. And I just like to press it. And I'm not going to go up here. Normally I would, but I'm testing this eye. But then I like to press it lightly over to kind of clean up the blush when I put too much. Let's move on to highlighter. So I have lots of highlighters that I like. But... I would say my absolute most favorite. Okay, let me just talk about some because I have five here. But the problem is, is three of them I can't really use very often. But I love the formula and I love how they look. So I have the Ofra Rodeo Drive, <clears throat> the Anastasia in Amrizi highlighter, and the Jouer in Citrine. These are all gold tones. Um, and I love them. I love the formula, I love how they look. The problem is that I'm so fair that unless I have a slight tan at least, I can't really wear these, which sucks. Um, but then these are my favorites. So my all-time, all-time favorite is Pixie Glowy Goss Glossomer Subtle Sunrise, but the gold shade, I hardly ever really touch the other shade. And then also, I really like this one. It's not like I'm obsessed with it only because I feel like it's too fair but it's Ofra's glazed donut but I really love adding it and mixing it to darker ones to make it easier to wear them so I am going to go in with both <clears throat> so let's go in with the pixie one first and even sometimes this pixie one gets too da of much of a dark cast like kind of right now you can see that it's not as bad in natural light but so now I'm going to take the Ofra glazed donut on the high points. Let's move on to setting spray. Um, setting spray, I don't really actually have a favorite. I have one that I constantly use because my favorite thing is how it comes out. But it's not necessarily that the product itself is my favorite. Um, I did buy this because I saw somebody else talk about it. So it's just a normal bottle. But the way it sprays is amazing. So I did take my Milani that I never used. It's a Milani Make It Last setting spray. I never used this because I hated the pump. So I took it and put it in here. So um, I just did this a couple days ago. So as of right now, this is my favorite. But, but it's not actually the product, it's the spray. 
Mm. I just love the spray on it. So now I need to find the actual product I like the best to put in here. So for brow products, I'm not really a huge brow person. I really don't care about them. However, I do realize that sometimes though, depending on how intense my makeup is, I do need brows to kind of complete the look. So what I use the most of is the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Dark Brown and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills, what's it called? Brow Gel in Medium Brown. So I will use these real quick and I'll be right back because watching me do brows is not fun. Okay, brows are done. So let's move on to eyes. So the problem with eyes is I don't necessarily have a favorite palette because I feel like I just move around and try too many different palettes that I don't really necessarily go back to a palette because on a day and day basis, I really don't wear eyeshadow because I just save enough time for me to get the base done in the morning to before going to work so I don't really have time to do eyes. However, a palette I constantly, constantly reach for is Anastasia Soft Glam or, what's the other one called? Because it's the other one that I like better. Hold on. Modern Renaissance. Gosh. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Modern Renaissance is, act is actually my favorite. Um, but I bought Soft Glam because it is very, very similar to Modern Renaissance. And I couldn't decide if I should buy this again or just buy a new one. Um, they are very similar. They're also different, but they are similar. Like this has pinks and this doesn't, but it's the shades that I constantly use is what's pretty much similar in this. So I'm always using Tempura, which is actually also in this shade. Um, I use Raw Sienna, which is not in this, but I also use Burnt Orange, which is in this. And then they have two different gold shades in here, but I like the lighterness of these shades. So... I'm going to scrape through and use this because it's my favorite. And I'm just going to do a simple look. Um, I am going to use... What are they called? Gosh, my brain is farting so bad. Liquid eyeshadows. Liquid eyeshadows are my favorite thing. Not necessarily a particular one. So I do really, really, really love the Ciate Ever Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadows. However, I only have one and the shade... I have is Cupid. I keep it in the box because for some reason the packaging itself doesn't have the name on it. I really like this, but this isn't a shade that I would wear very often. It's like a gold purple, but I really, really love the formula of this. So I just need to look into buying more. I got this in a boxy charm. Um, I really, really liked this Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal uh, Liquid Eyeshadow in the zone. However, it's stupid expensive, so I only have one. And this isn't really a shade I use too often this is more my shade and i can't decide how much i like it i've only ever used it once so i think we're going to use this today um i also really like the stila but i don't have a shade in stila that i really like because i'm more like this like a really light gold kind of person so i think i'm actually going to use this so it's not necessarily my favorite my favorite thing is just liquid eyeshadows in general but i'm going to try this out again so let's do some shades that kind of go with it i'm gonna go in with Warm taupe. Ooh. Now let's do raw sienna first. So we're gonna go in with a little raw sienna in the crease. I need a brush. We'll use you. Now let's go in with a little bit of the warm taupe just to kind of deepen the crease. Are you wanting to know brushes I use? Let's talk. I already missed the face, but let's just talk about eyes. So the one I just went in was the Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to do this because why not? Just because the handle's so pretty. I'm going to do. This is BH Cosmetics. It was the Crystal Zodiac Collection. It's an actual, it's actually a fluffy angled brush, but we're just going to use it because I just really like the brush handle. So I'm going to put that a little bit lower in my crease just to deepen it up and also in the outer V more focusing it in the outer V than in the crease, but still in the crease, so I have that definite, definition, definite. So it's depth, okay? It's deep, it's, I can't talk. And then I will go back in with the other brush and a little raw sienna just to blend them together better. Now, my favorite thing to do to clean up, like up here, where I don't have the patience to blend it better, is to take a flat brush of any kind and then a bone shade, which my tempura is like gone, so we'll just scrape it. 
and then I use that just to kind of clean it up and blend it out better. So I'm going to leave it at that for now and go in with the liquid eyeshadow. So this is Pixie by Petra in the shade Sunray. It is a little like greeny gold, which I'm not a fan of necessarily, but maybe when it comes on the eye, it won't be as green. Let's hope it's just the packaging. It is gold, but I definitely can still see like a hint of like a greeniness. Let's do the lower lash line. So I'm just pretty much going to use the same two shades. I don't, I could deepen this up, but I don't want to go that intense. So we're not going to. All right, I'm going to take a combination of the Warm Taupe and Raw Sienna. And I'm going to use that on a Luxie 111 flat mini angled brush. And we're going to use that to kind of smoke it out on the lower lash line. But I'm really going to just keep that towards the outer edge. Because I want this to kind of be like a daytime glam, you know? I don't need it so intense. Moving on, let's highlight my inner corner and brow bone with my favorite of like ever in life is the MAC Nylon. I just have a real love for this. Oh, uh, I put way too much. Let's move on to mascara. I wouldn't necessarily say I have a favorite. Um, I definitely go back and forth between a lot. That's not true. See, I just, I get so many mascara scent in like Bo BoxyCharm or, you know, I, I, a couple of things like I bought something from a company and they sent a sample of something with it. So, I don't know. I kind of not stuck on anything particular. Like, I got this Tarte Big Ego from a BoxyCharm, and I'm not really obsessed with it. I actually don't even remember because it's been so long since I've tried it. Um, and then it's like, I have these sitting over in the side waiting to even be touched or opened because they came in a BoxyCharm, and it's like, I'm going to use them because I have them, and they gave them to me, and I also hate spending money on mascara. I don't know why. But I also still have these to go through. And like, um, I got the Hourglass, whatever this palette is called, for um, my birthday. And they sent along a mini Hourglass Caution Mascara. So I haven't opened this because I want to try this. And like, ugh, I can tell you what I don't like is this Milk Mascara. I liked it at first, but it's way too liquidy and it doesn't stop being liquidy. With that being said, I don't necessarily have a favorite. Mm, so I'm just gonna use what I have and what I'm trying to use up basically because I keep getting scent mascara I don't want to keep opening them because then that'll just make them go bad So I just try to finish whatever I have So I've been using the benefit roller lash So I'm going to continue to use that so that I can use it up and move on. I Will say I do like this mascara. I don't really have complaints about it necessarily um, Except for on this eye because that's my bad eye I do notice they clump together more, and I don't really like that. So I used the mascara that I did buy for a video, which is the Longco mascara that vibrates. <laughs> so I do sometimes use that additionally on top of this to kind of separate the lashes on the other side. So my current obsession is Marc Jacobs lips, like literal obsession. I bought this kit, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my what I've been buying lately. Um, so the kit is all cream and sugar, right? Yeah. So it was a lip, a lip gloss, a lip liner, and a lipstick all in the shade cream and sugar. However, I'm not a huge fan necessarily of the lip gloss because it is so glittery. Um, I wouldn't mind it, but I just don't really like it combined. So I did buy a different lip gloss that I do really like in... Sugar Sugar. I wanted the one that where you like, it looks like a lip gloss, but you pull it out and it's actually like almost a lipstick. <sighs> but they were all out at the top. And so I asked the service like advisor at Sephora to help me and she grabbed it. I was like, oh cool. And that's this one, right? Not the glosses. And she goes, no, it, it's, it's that one. I got in the car and it's not, it's the gloss. But that's fine, it's fine. <laughs> that is what I've been obsessed with lately is just Marc Jacobs lips products. So I'm going to use the lip liner in cream and sugar. I don't know why I just had to look for that. So, you know, let's just apply that. My lips are, are very crusty and dusty and gross, so just 
just ignore that. Let's move on to the lipstick. So this is, gosh, why do I keep looking? Cream and sugar. I just love the feeling of these lipsticks. Oh, it's not gonna help my crusty lips. Ah, gross. Emphasizes how gross they are. Oh God. Definitely need to exfoliate them. Okay, so this is just cream and sugar on its own, which is really pretty. But I do want to add the gloss. So this is, like I said, sugar, sugar. And I feel like sugar, sugar is just slightly more cool toned. I love that the glasses are like peppermint smelling. All right, so this is the finished look using all my current favorites of 2020 so far. Let me know your favorite products down below because I'm always down for trying new things. But that is all I have for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.